The American Museum of Natural History is famous for its collection of dinosaur fossils. And these are some of its most famous, the world's first dinosaur eggs. Today we know that a bear-sized dinosaur laid the eggs. But how could such a small dinosaur lay as many as 20 eggs? Modern birds may provide a clue to the mystery. Today, scientists believe that birds evolved from feathered dinosaurs who walked on two legs. So we looked at modern egg-laying vertebrates like reptiles and, and birds to see who among them had the largest clutches. We're, we're particularly interested in ground nesting birds because those are most comparable to the dinosaurs that we have. All the, all the eggs of dinosaurs are found either completely buried or partially buried in the ground. So we like to look at them for, for models of the nesting style. Shorebirds like seagulls nest on the ground, but only lay three or four eggs at a time, not 20. But Varicchio hit the jackpot with one type of bird, ratites large, flightless birds like emus and ostriches. Like dinosaurs, their nests contain up to 20 eggs. The large clutch size is best explained by male care, where one male would take care of the clutch, but maybe multiple females have contributed eggs to that clutch. That means these dinosaurs may have had stay-at-home dads. So I think the, the gut reaction for, for a human looking at uh, an adult dinosaur sitting on top of eggs is that it's the female, it's the, the mother dinosaur. And in part, I think that reflects that we're mammals and we're based upon female care, nursing of young, things like that. So I think that's sort of our instinctive reaction to it. So the next time you see a tough two-legged dinosaur, remember that he may also have been a parent taking care of a large family.